Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome on that quick tutorial video where I will show you how to set up and fly a training scenario or an airline flight. The first one is from uh, Frankfurt to Bremen and back. So how to fly these and how to set up your system. So let me show you that. I will start FSI Panel and the first thing to do is to set up your audio configuration. Okay, so here we are in FSI panel. The first thing is to go to setup and to find the scenario tab on the top screen of your screen. And from there, you can see all the available scenarios for the aircraft that is actually loaded in uh, MSFS. And the first thing to do is to enable the push to talk option. When you get there, you will have to select a push to talk button, a say again button. This is not mandatory this is optional but i highly recommend to select a button for that as it will allow you to uh, request a say again to etc especially if you fly with only voice we will see that in a minute all right so first i will select my push to talk button so how to do that i click on select the button then my list of controller is here so if for example in my case i want to use the SciTech pro flight controller then I have all the buttons and I need to select the one that I want to use. So in order to detect the button, now you will press your button on your controller. Maybe in your case, you will have some buttons already light up as they are switched. Can be like this on your uh, configuration. So do not press those ones. Those ones are probably switched for landing light for the lights or whatever is assigned to those switches. So make sure that you press your uh, push to talk button several times and you can realize now that in my case button number six is the one I want to use so now you can release everything and push button number six and you can see number six has been recorded I will do the exact same procedures for the say again button so I will go again to my correct controller this is the one I want to use identified as number nine and that is done now we need to set up the audio so for the audio i will never recommend to go only text makes no sense in my opinion you have the two best options only voices you have the say again feature so don't worry about that you can repeat you can ask for the atc instructions to repeat as many times as you want if you ask two times in a row you will get the text displayed as well so no worries but there is more chance that you miss an instruction or that you uh, do a mistake, you don't fly the correct heading and then the, the scenario is not complete. So the best thing to start with is the voice and text. Therefore, it's very straightforward. And when you feel comfortable, you can revert back to only voice. Next thing is to select the output device where you want the ATC to talk. Might be directly on your headset or you want to have it on your primary sound driver or on your speakers. You can test that. So in my case, I will try to put it on the uh, headphone. And if I click on test audio, now we should get uh, a sound. And you can adjust here the volume. If ATC is too loud or not too loud, just do it from here. Once you are happy with that, that's the setting required for the audio and push to talk. Another setting that is nice to have is on the options tab you will have the cockpit flows this is like a first officer doing the cockpit flows for you if you line up the runway and you i don't know look at your landing light and then you try you try to turn on your transponder usually when we look up again we are on the grass and this is to avoid this kind of bad habit not to look ahead and to continue taxing while doing the flows so fsi panel can do the flows now this is another video you can see the link in the description below and that is very useful so i will just select a button for that for this you can select another button or a keyboard combination so in my case i will take a keyboard combination so when i click on it it tells me do you want to select a keyboard combination instead of the joystick this is what i want to do and then FSI panel is waiting for me to press the key. So I will press Control Shift F11. And this is what I want. I can save that as well. Now we have done the configuration. We are ready to import our training scenario. We will try the first one, which is a full voice ATC training flight from Frankfurt 
to Bremen. So to do that, the first thing to do is to load the aircraft that you want to fly. So let's say I will fly the training scenario on the Airbus 320 Phoenix. Note that you can fly these training scenario, these airline flights on any aircraft, even the one that are not supported by FSI panel. The only thing is you need to make sure that you can reach cruising altitude as you will get clearance to climb, in that case, to flight level 240. So I will fly on the Airbus A320 Phoenix. The first thing is to select any airport you want. It doesn't matter. It is just to import the uh, training scenario. So if the Airbus is loaded like this, it's already enough most of the time. But the best thing is just load your aircraft anywhere you want and then we will start FSI panel. This is to make sure FSI panel knows which scenarios to import. So I see you when the sim is ready. All right, my Airbus is ready. I don't really need to do anything here because this is just, as I said before, to make sure FSI panel knows which scenario to import. So let's go in FSI panel. All right, here we are in FSI panel. And what we will do now is import the training scenarios we would like to fly. So for, to do that, just go to Setup, Scenarios. And as we have loaded our preferred aircraft, in my case now the Phoenix A320, I can see all the available scenarios to be downloaded and that you can add to your database. So for example, if I would like to fly now uh, the roster flight Lufthansa 350 and Lufthansa 351, which is a roster ATC flight from Frankfurt to Bremen and back, I will download both of them. And the good thing is you can download two flights and then you will not have to uh, restart MSFS several times. So let's do for the first one. So we have a Frankfurt to Bremen. You can see here the summary of what's going to happen. And if you want to know a little bit more, or if you're not sure if you want to use that scenario, you can click on Checklist and Plan. If you click on check lesson plan, you will get a comprehensive lesson plan telling you where you have to set up your aircraft and you will get as well uh, the ATC route. That's important, especially if you fly an aircraft that is not supported by FSI panel. So at least you can program your FMC or your MCDU and fly that. You get as well the weather. And one thing I have to mention as well is the ATIS is available on one, two, three, four, five on any uh, training flight, airline flight in FSI panel. Tune it on COM2 as active and you will get the departure frequency if you're sitting on ground. And once you get airborne, it will be the uh, arrival ATIS. Bear in mind that the um, arrival ATIS can change. So it might be that once you get airborne and you check your ATIS, you are expected to land on runway 25, for example, in Frankfurt. And a few minutes later, the wind has changed and now it's going to be a runway 07 center, for example. So make sure if you get a new clearance to check the ATIS, maybe something has changed. All right, so let's go how to, let's see how we can download those scenarios. So if I want to fly this roster flight, so I will just click on download scenario. And now you get that information that the weather preset has been installed and the scenario has been added to my database. I get here the uh, weather preset. The name will be FSI panel LH350. That's anyway very easy as it's always the call sign. Now, as I plan to fly back, I will straight away import the next one. Click on download and same procedures. Now we have our two scenarios imported into our database. So what we have to do now, unfortunately, is to restart MSFS. The reason is very simple. MSFS uses the weather preset. We just installed the weather preset, but as the sim was already running, it will not show, unfortunately. So for that, now we can restart our simulator and we will position our aircraft in Frankfurt as per the lesson plan. So in that case, we can see here that I need to position my aircraft anywhere from Alpha 26 to Alpha 40 in Frankfurt. So that's what, what we will do now. So let me restart the sim and I show you that. All right, here we are in the simulator. So my Airbus is selected and now I will select Frankfurt. And as per the lesson plan, I need to be anywhere between Alpha 26 to Alpha 40. 
so that's what i will select right now let's take alpha 28 for example all right so we should be in frankfurt here i was looking for the position right there alpha 28 perfect and now what is important is to select the correct weather preset so we are going to use preset if you go to your weather tab preset and now we should find here Lufthansa 350 this is what you will not see if you did if you didn't restart your simulator so let's scroll down and look for FSI Lufthansa 350 that's the one we want to fly and we also have Lufthansa 351 part 1 and part 2 for our return flight so we are going to fly Lufthansa 350 now as we are in Frankfurt so select that and we are ready to go so fly I see you when the sim is ready. All right, simulator is ready. We are on Alpha 26 in Frankfurt. Is too small for your and the first thing to do is always to power up your aircraft. FSI panel cannot work if the aircraft is not powered. That is valid for the PMDGs, for the Phoenix, for the Mad Dog. So just make sure you power your aircraft. So the best thing here is, as per the lesson plan, just go on APU or on GPU, depending if you're planning to depart very soon or if you want to do uh, some uh, briefing, then you might go on uh, GPU. So in that case, I will go with APU and I will just power up my aircraft. Once the aircraft is powered, we can start FSI panel and FSI panel will do everything and we will... Uh, see how to fly the training scenario so let's start fsi panel here we go so what is important now is to make sure that you see frankfurt runway whatever you want that's not a big deal at this time what is important is that the correct aircraft is loaded here if you want to fly the training scenario on any other aircraft not compatible with FSI panel, you will see uh, not applicable here, but the scenario will still work. So in order to do that, you just go to training scenarios. And now you can see that Lufthansa 350 is highlighted in green, meaning that we are at the right position to start that training scenario. So if I select it now, I can just click start training. If you want to prepare your MCDU, your FMS on the 737 by yourself, you don't want FSI panel to do it for you. You want to just insert your flight plan yourself and do your cockpit preparation. Just untick that box and then you will have the all voice feature, but you will have to program yourself your uh, FMC. And disable all failures. In some scenarios, we have light failures and sometimes severe failures. This is not applicable on those flights. But if you have failures and you just want to fly the scenario without any failure, just tick disable all failures and you will have a normal flight. All right, so I will just click on start training. And from now on, so for, sorry, from so now on, everything is automatic. So just sit on your hands, as we said in the cockpit, and wait for FSI panel to do the job. The ATC voice pack will be downloaded and now the cockpit will be uh, programmed. So let's see that in real time now on the Phoenix A320. You can see the cockpit preparation in real time. The first thing is the uh, initial altitude and then we will see all the lights and the overhead panel done. And now FSI panel is programming the routing in the uh, MCDU. On the 737, it takes only a few seconds. We will be ready to depart already. And if you fly on uh, any other aircraft not supported by FSI panel, basically you can start immediately as soon as you have your flight plan. The uh, voice instructions will be ready for you. So here, Phoenix takes a little bit more time because we have to program the whole route uh, by ourselves. As you can see, FSI panel is doing it for us. This is the actual route of that flight in the morning. Early morning flight departs from runway 18. Most of the time it's operated by uh, Lufthansa City Line. And this is why I chosen uh, to depart on 18 today on that scenario. And midday, usually runway 25 are in use. But here we are going to use runway 18. All right, as you can see, everything is set. Even the performance has been computed for the actual weight. So you don't even need to uh, worry about your performance. Everything is done for you. So now the speeds are set and we're going to have as well the acceleration altitude as well as the engine out acceleration altitude that will be set for you. And we are going to put a fixed info for the one engine out. 
which is straight ahead to 25 miles on the radial 177. So this is coming from Captain Black Box uh, information, very nice information on his website where you can find any uh, information about engine failure, where you have to go to avoid terrain. So that's a good source if you don't know where to find them. All right, here we are, that's it. When you get that first message, you are ready to fly your training scenario. So as you can see, we get the first instructions. Lufthansa 350, scenario starts now. When ready, contact delivery on 121905. So what I suggest you to do is to grab the frequency before you acknowledge that, just to make sure we have the right frequency first. And the ATIS frequency is available on 123, decimal 45. Now that this is done, I can acknowledge that message. And from now on, we are in total immersion. We can fly our training scenario. If you want to be proactive or if you are afraid to miss a frequency, you go at the bottom of the uh, lesson plan and you will see all the frequencies that we will be using on that training scenario. So that's something nice to have near to your desktop. So in case you are not sure, you can find out which frequency will be the next one and to be proactive. All right, so let's jump in our cockpit and let's try and test our audio. The first thing is always check your ATIS. This is Frankfurt information If you are Delta. not getting Departure anything runway, here, or if you are getting a uh, distorted voice, sometimes this happens uh, on the initialization of your audio card, just kilometers. remove Clouds the ATIS, put it back on, this is Frankfurt and now you will have Delta. a correct Departure audio for the reminder of the scenario. Landing runway two All right, so here we can pick up our ATIS, and once you are ready, we can call, you can call, sorry, uh, delivery. So let's give it a try. Now I'm going to call delivery with my push to talk button and we will see what we get. So let's call delivery. Delivery, very good morning. This is Lufthansa 350, stand Alpha 26, information Golf, ready for clearance to uh, Bremen, Airbus A320. Oh, you see nothing is happening. And why nothing is happening? Because I didn't set the right frequency. So that's something you have to be very careful. If you're not talking to the right frequency, to the right controller, nothing's going to happen. So we need to switch on the right frequency. And now let's try again. Delivery yellow, Lufthansa 350, stand alpha 26, ready for clearance to Bremen. We have information Golf A320. Good morning and hello, Lufthansa 350, clear to Bremen, Marut, Sam, Sierra, runway 18, climb 4000 feet, squawk 1651. Roger, clear to Bremen, runway 18, Maroon 7, Sierra, departure, climb 4000 feet initially, and the squawk is 1651, Lufthansa uh, 350. Readback is correct, call apron 121, decimal 655, for push and start. Okay, we need to acknowledge within 30 seconds or we will get a reminder. The ATC will call us back. So to acknowledge the message, always press your push to talk and read back. Roger Lufthansa 350, April 121655. Bye bye. And the window will disappear. All right, so this is now. As you see, we took the uh, we took the uh, frequency, we took the 80s, we took the clearance, and we are basically ready for pushback. The cockpit has been set for us, and we can continue by calling here 121655 for pushback. I will show you now voice only, so you can see what happened if I don't understand anything on the ATC. So let's switch FSI panel to voice only. Scenario, and I will go only voice. Good. So back in FSI panel, now I have 121.655. Let's call for pushback and see what happened. April Hello, Lufthansa 350, stand Alpha 26, ready, push and start. Lufthansa 350, push and start approved, facing west, report ready for taxi. All right. Now let's say you didn't understand that clearance. Not a big deal. We are voice only. So we don't see any instructions. So I will use my push to my say again button. Let's go. Ahead. Let's call and push the say again button and see what happens. 
Lufthansa 350, push and start approved, facing west, report ready for taxi. All right, as you see and as you heard, we got again the same clearance. So if we are still not sure, we can push say again button a second time and let's see what happened. Lufthansa 350, push and start approved, facing west, report ready for taxi. Right, now you get again the same voices message and you get as well the uh, text window. So that's very straightforward and easy to use. And now I can do my readback. Roger Lufthansa 350, push and start approved, facing west. And I acknowledge the message with the push to talk and now we are clear for push. So once we are clear for push, I will show you the flow, but there is a video for that. So for the flows, please take the link in the description below. This is how to use the flow. So let's prepare the aircraft for pushback with the flow and you will see how to use it. All right, everything looks good on ground. We are almost ready to push back here and we need to do the flows. So let me show you the flows. As you can see now, we still have the uh, fuel pumps off. The lights are not set. The seatbelt sign, let's put the seatbelt side off. Let's say we were not ready yet for departure and we want to use FSI panel flow. So let's bring the flow and we get here all the flows. You have the video for that. So you can see that video in the description below the link. So just use the before start. That will be the flow. I will show you these two flows and the rest is on the video below. So let's go before start. So when we go before start, as you can see, my first officer FSI panel will basically set the aircraft for us. We'll set the fuel pumps, beacon light is on, and we got the transponder, which is set for taxi. Now we have been clear for push, so I release the parking brake, and we start pushing. So that's a good thing to help you, especially on the lineup flow, on the after landing flow, on the shutdown flow, then you can concentrate on taxing your aircraft without having to uh, okay, switch off something here, go right there, and when you look ahead, oh, I'm on the grass. So that's, that's the reason for the flows. All right, let's start the engine. Number two, start. All right, parking brake is set. All right, I am. Um, I know shitting a little bit here because I think it's way too long the time it takes to uh, disconnect. So I am telling GS6 to disconnect. It's not good, I know, but what to do? Then I can taxi the aircraft faster. I'm sorry guys, we are not supposed to do that. If you have time, just wait until really you have two engines stabilized. In real life, it's very important because if one of your engine is doing a hot start, a rank start, or you have any other malfunctions, then you need to tell the ground staff that maybe you need to return to the stand or you need assistance. And the ground staff can as well tell you if you have a tailpipe fire, if they see any abnormality when you start the engine. This is what we see as pilot but they can see leak, they can see fuel leak, oil leak, they can see a tailpipe fire that we will not see here. A tailpipe fire will not appear here, right? Good, so the second engine is almost started and I will show you as promised the uh, second flow and that will be the end of our uh, scenario today, at least I don't want to spoil it for you, but you will be able to fly it. All right, two engines are running, so I bring the flows and we are flaps two today. You can see that right there. So select flaps two and we're gonna do a PAX on takeoff. So I click on after start flow. And now the FSI panel is doing the flow. You can see the flaps moving to two. 
and if I go back in my cockpit, we can see that the APU bleed has been turned off. The APU is on the way to be off. The uh, speed brake is arm. The flaps has been set to two, and we are ready to go. So now we are ready to call for taxi. So let's call for taxi. Lufthansa 350, we are ready for taxi. Lufthansa 350, taxi holding point 18 via November 7 and November taxiway. Taxi holding point 18, November 7 and November, November taxiway, Lufthansa 350. Here you see I didn't have any text because we are on voice only. So now I can taxi my airplane and I will show you the um, taxi procedure. And from there, I will leave you and I will let you do that scenario for yourself. All right, we start taxiing. And usually when you are clear of the buildings, when you are on the nice November taxiway and you are ready to do the taxi procedures, you will call for it. Usually we will not call for it once we are in a busy area like the apron right now. We want to concentrate now on the uh, taxi part. Make sure we don't screw it up with November 7. Once we are 100% sure where we are and what we are doing, now we can call for the taxi procedures. In that video, I will call it right now, just to save time. So if I call now the taxi procedures, what FSI panel will do, it will set auto brake to max and will switch off, we'll switch on sorry, our predicted wind shear and the weather radar. And that's it. And as you can see now, the only thing I have to do is take off config, normal, and we are good to go. All right, guys, that's it. That was just to show you the uh, training scenarios, the airline flight. We will have more and more of these flights coming. So this is just normal flights with or without failure. If you don't like the failure, just disable the failures. And uh, then you can just fly from A to B having uh, ATC instructions. You will get all the instructions until you park in Bremen. On the way back, exactly the same way. You have to ask your clearance in uh, Bremen and you will get all the instructions until you are parked in Frankfurt. First flight, this is just some appetizers for you. The first flight to uh, Bremen, easy. A little trap that happened to us many times when we fly online when we fly in real life so uh, you will see nothing nothing bad but be ready to have a little bit of exercise it is nothing too complicated no failures it's just about the ATC and think about your uh, sequence am I number one am I number five do I expect any shortcut is my track miles correct in the MCDU am I really going to fly 150 miles from that position so this is all the kind of things that you can check and you have to check on the first flight. On the second flight, the weather will be a little bit deteriorating in Frankfurt. So make sure you check your ATIS uh, once you're airborne from Bremen. And if you get any surprise in the air with the ATC, check again the ATIS. And it might be a little bit more challenging, but again, normal function, just normal procedures. And I hope you enjoy uh, those scenarios. All right, guys, thank you for watching that video and please give me your comments if you liked it or not. I would like to thank again all the German voice speakers that have participated in uh, that uh, nice uh, scenario roster flight. Thank you again and as always, stay safe. And if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, please do it. That will help me doing more and more training video for you. Thank you, guys, and stay safe. See you next time. Bye bye.